Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and this is part three, and I feel a little more confident. While the other video was loading, I added some colors to the wood. And these are different layers, so this is going to work. I think this is actually five layers of product. There's one, two, three, which would be the back layer, four, and five. So your back layer would be stained or whatever, so some items would show through. But I thought, you know, you could take this a little further and even give it some more. We still have a copy of our border. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ungroup it for a second. I'm going to grab that one right there. I'm going to make a duplicate. I'm going to move it over. I'm going to left click, right click. And then I'm going to put no, no fill. So I'm going to left mouse button and right mouse button. So that's one of our new layers. But we're going to take this and contour it uh, under effects, contour. We're going to contour it again to the inside. We're going to break the contour apart. We're going to grab the inside and move it over. And we're making a complete another layer. Control D and make a duplicate. Double click, move it to the center. Rotate it 22 and a half degrees. And that's a little off. You always want to look. So what I like to do is bring in indexing lines and hit P and P. And then you know when you're... I haven't made a duplicate again, so Control D. Double click and move your rotation to the indexing line. Now it doesn't look like it's there sometimes, but you, when you double click on it, you can see it. Rotate it 22 and a half degrees. Again, and you could do this with a step and repeat which would be easier probably or quicker. But there is you a total new layer. Now one thing I probably didn't do, and let's just back up here. Let's back up here completely. I did not. Group this together. So we want to control G. Now we can bring our contour back in. Control D and make a duplicate. Because you want to be able to move that guy. And see it didn't look like it's in the center, but it is. So 22 and a half degrees. I'm getting my group. Tell you what we can do, we can put it to the back of the page. So we won't grab it again grab our contour let's see if we hit delete it's still there so the duplicate will stay there control d move your center of the rotation in the center double click on it again make sure it's there sometimes the shape tool takes over 22 and a half degrees and go around sometimes corel does that make it 45 and because we grouped our first one Together, we can now do this. We can grab just our outside group and move it over. Now we still have an outline. We still want to keep a duplicate, so Control D, and we'll move it back in. Now we have a complete new layer. Let's Control G and make a duplicate. So you could keep going with different layers and do exactly what I did and keep contouring this thing down because if you look at it that's what it's going to look like and you've got that outline and a contour with inside that and you could do it to every layer so you could get kind of this effect where they have contours going down every layer and you can even add petals to the center you know partial ones there's a lot you can do with this. I think I'm going to cut this out. Maybe make one on a smaller scale. And when I do, I will post that video. I truly hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.